What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last video we took on a top 25 team in Oregon. Pretty much the same result that happened in the first game against Missouri. We went up against the same type of offense. It was just tough to stop but more importantly our offense was just awful. Defense was awful. Everything was just really bad so we need to make a couple of adjustments and we will definitely do so today as we take on Idaho. We got about the same amount of talent. Looking at their numbers, it doesn't say a whole lot. Of course, we'll look at their roster and see what they have and such. But hopefully we can get our first win of the season today. And hopefully due to some adjustments we are going to make, which I'll talk about here shortly. Let's go to end season recruiting. Now, oddly enough, we lose to Oregon. And it looks like recruiting, we didn't get hurt too badly. I mean, we got... This to left tackle, we went down on his list. But everybody else, we either stayed the same or went up, which is actually surprising. Normally when you lose, it hurts your recruiting. But let's go to the very top. Guard out of Hawaii, Trey McDowell. We at least made his top five. And we're slowly moving up. So I like where we are here. We just don't know much about him. Let's talk about halfbacks for a minute. You know, one of the problems I'm having on offense is my halfback position is struggling. The guy I got starting now, I can't pronounce his name. He is fine. He can catch the ball, but he's just really slow. He's got like 84 speed. And as we've seen over the past season or so, the run-and-shoot offense works a little bit better if you got a little bit of speed in the backfield. And we're going to mitigate that here in a little bit. But because of that, I'm starting to think that I need to prioritize speed even more here than I thought so. Until my offensive line can get better, until my quarterback play can get better, I have to start throwing shorter passes, which means the halfback gets involved more. If I had a great offensive line and a great quarterback, I wouldn't need my halfback as much. I can rely on my offensive line to protect, to block long enough for the deeper rats to develop, but we just can't do that right now. So I'm saying all that because we're looking at this halfback right here, and he runs a 4-4-8. That's actually not fast enough for what we really need. A 4-4-8, I, I, I need to look at my stack conversion chart. It's like 84 speed or 86 or something. That's okay, but it's not good enough. Now, we're in decent position for this guy, and he's got decent hands. But I am actually going to take points off of him. I just He doesn't fit perfectly what I need at the present time or in the next couple of seasons. So we're going to take points off of him and put points somewhere else. Let's talk about this defensive tackle. We're in good shape for him, it appears, and we're going to need him because, as you can see here, we got four junior defensive tackles, but we really need to load up on that position in the next couple of seasons. But we run a 3-4 defense, so we don't need many players, but it helps to get a guy like this guy who we can redshirt next season. So we're definitely going to keep him on the list. Colin Porter, another halfback, 4-4-8, A-. minus Again, would be a decent guy to go after, but I think I'm going to drop him just because he's just not fast enough for what I want. So we're going to take the points off of him, and we'll keep going. Defensive end, I want this guy badly because of his he's the perfect size for a defensive end in our 3-4 defense. So we'll leave him on the list. Uh, here's a tackle. We're going down a little bit, we're, but we're still in the top five. I would love to turn Arizona to a pipeline, so I want to keep this guy if possible. So we're going to leave him on there. And Mark Bracey, halfback out of Arizona. I want to keep this kid because he runs a 4-3-9 and we're at the top of his list. So this will be the one halfback we'll go after pretty hard. So that gives us down to one, two, three, four. We're going after five guys. So let's just put 20 points on everybody. That should help in recruiting regardless we should go up on everybody's list when you go up 20 at this point, especially this early in the season. So we're down to five guys that I'm really going to hone in on. A guard, a defensive tackle, a defensive end, a, a left tackle, and a halfback. So I'm really pleased with what I'm seeing right there. I'm happy with those decisions. Let's go to Sports Illustrated. Uh, none of this really matters. We're still early in the season. Of course, we're not going to hit the top 25 anytime soon. We're not going to have anybody on the Heisman watch anytime soon. But let's go to conference standings and check out some team screens. Uh, we'll go to us first. Not going to say a whole lot. At least we don't have anybody injured, so we'll have everybody back. But we need to play better, obviously. But let's go to Idaho. 
they just got they beat Washington State. Uh, looks like their quarterback is playing pretty good. Now they're that bird kid. I think he's an impact player. We're gonna find out. But I played Idaho long enough over the years, so I'm pretty sure he's an impact guy. We'll see. Looks like they got a a defensive player already has 23 tackles through two games. That's pretty good. Leading in sacks as well, so he must be their main stud on defense. So that is all I need to show you. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the playbook for a minute. I switched things up a little bit. We're still going to go four wide, run and shoot type stuff. But I switched a couple things around. I added gun tight and gun bunch. They're more four wide sets. There's a couple things I want to do there. I'll talk about a little bit later. And I uh, also re uh, added ace tight. I replaced ace bunch with this one. Another four wide set. Just gives us another look to maybe run the ball or maybe pass out of it. We'll just see how that goes. And I replace ace big tight end wide receiver with ace big twins because I'm going to use the wide receiver option play with that one. Pretty much the same reason why I'm going with gun bunch. It gives me another uh, wide receiver run play because our run game is obviously non-existent and we need to beef that up a little bit. So we're going to talk about that once we get to the game. I, I did switch up some audibles, but they're not super important. So we'll go ahead and take on Idaho. Speed this up a little bit. And looks like we got somebody in trouble. Defensive tackle. If I'm not mistaken, this was the same guy who got in trouble last year. Redshirt Jr., he's really small. Uh, we got that bar. Let me look at our roster. I don't even know. I don't think he's our starter. We'll go to roster, and we're going to go to depth chart. I wish you could look at the depth chart right at that screen. The discipline screen, but you got to go the long way around. Got to get to it. There we go. All right. He's our third stringer, so this is a good thing. That means we can really punish this kid. He doesn't see the field a whole lot. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to really punish him because our discipline bar is still a little too high for my liking. So we're going to go back. And we can see what he done. Instead of going to the study group, uh, Purcell decided to attend a fraternity party. This is not a good sign of his indication to schoolwork or dedication to schoolwork. Now, I know that's a very minor offense. It doesn't mean much nothing. But none of that really matters in a video game, especially like this. So I want to get that bar down. So we're going to go. Like I can go six games, but I'm running out of points really quick. Let's just do five. This get I mean, you, there are rare opportunities for backup players to get in trouble. This is the perfect opportunity for you to lower that bar. And this is what we're going to do here. Thankfully, he's our third best defensive tackle. So I don't think we'll miss him too much, especially since we run three, four half the time. Okay, I'm really excited to show you a couple of adjustments I'm going to make. I'm going to explain all that right before we get into the game. Hopefully, we play better today. Uh, if not, uh, we'll make more changes, and you know that's what you got to do with a team that's struggling. You got to make adjustments until things start working. So it looks like we got a pretty day, or is it raining? I can't tell. Looks like it's a pretty day. All right, we won the toss. I want the ball start second half. Sometimes you can't, yeah, perfect weather. All right, let's talk about some things. So my offense is struggling. We can start with a quarterback. For now, Gronk will still be my starter. But if for whatever reason he's struggling today, people are clamming for this, and I honestly don't blame him, I may just go ahead and play Colt Brennan. I mean, if Gronk can't handle some of the adjustments I'm going to make today, I'm going to make it easy for him. If he can't handle it, number 15 is going in. But we'll see how Gronk handles it. Okay, a halfback. I'm struggling here. It's not this kid's fault. He's just slow. And I mean, he runs the ball halfway decent. Uh, but we need more out of that position. So we're going to make an adjustment there. The other adjustment I am going to make, and I'll, t okay, let's just go ahead and talk about the formation subs. The, what I'm going to do here is Castle Ford, a, a guy who's in, in my comment section all the time, makes some good suggestions. He made a really good suggestion yesterday in that maybe I should put a wide receiver at halfback just to get some speed back there. And I think it's a pretty good idea, so that's what we're going to do. So let's talk about our wide receivers. You know, we got John Davis and Antoine Rackley are two true freshmen. We got our impact guy, Jason Ferguson, at 90 speed. But then we got Michael Washington, 5'7", 163. He's got 94 speed. 
if you look at their catch rating, he's got only 70 catch. So he can't even catch all that well compared to the other guys. I'm going to move him to halfback in some formations. And we can get him out, get him on a mismatch situation. And we're going to see how that goes. Now, what's interesting is if you go to, for example, if you go to halfback and say, I want to put him right here. If you notice, he is a 52 overall if I move him to halfback on the depth chart. But we're not going to do that. We're going to use formation subs. Now, formation subs basically does the same thing, but it does things a little bit differently. And I just kind of found this out today. First of all, with this formation, I am going to put Washington right here. And we're going to put Ferguson right here. I don't know how often I'll use it, but uh, it does it does have the wide receiver option play. And I want to get some speed out there somehow to boost up the running game, just to boost the offense in general. Okay. For under center sets, I am going to keep our top halfback where he's at. I'm okay with that. So these under center sets uh, right here, I'm going to put our starter halfback back in. I'm okay with what we see right here. I'm going to put that guy back in as well. Cox, our backup halfback, just isn't... He doesn't fit what we're trying to do. So, But when we get to the gun sets, here's where I'm going to make some changes. With gun bunch, the only thing I'm really going to change, if I can get to it, the only thing I'm really going to change is we're going to move Bess here. We're going to put Washington right there because we're going to use that wide receiver option play. I'm trying to get speed out to the backfield, out, you know, in open space. I could put Ferguson here, but I really don't need to. He's much better as a pure wide receiver because he can catch really well. So we're going to put him right there. So we still got our best four receivers out in the, out in the field. But once we get here is where I'm going to make some adjustments. So let's talk about this. Now, as you can tell, number 19, if I can get to him, this is Washington. Because he is starting at this position, or this formation, I got to get him out in order to move him at halfback. So we're going to replace him with our number, our, our, our best uh, available wide receiver. We'll put best right there. So now let's go to our halfback, and we're going to put in Washington. Now remember what I said about the overall at 52 overall. Watch what happens when I put him at halfback. You notice right here, and I'm going to use the Illustrator so you guys can see it. I can get my cursor over there. You see it right here? Boom! Now he's at 72 overall. So he really didn't change, which I think is rather interesting. And that may be just because of his skill set. I don't know if that is a normal thing with other positions. That's something I just have to test. But his, you know, his speed stays the same. His break tackles stay the same. Everything really stays the same, probably except the awareness. I don't know. That's just something I'll, I can maybe check later. But his carry is awful. So that's the one thing. This isn't cheese by any means because he can't carry the ball whatsoever. So we're going to be in the gun. I'm probably going to throw the entire time because of him. But at least gets him in the backfield. I can get him matched up on a linebacker or a safety. And maybe we can do more damage that way. And I'm going to give him easy throws, flare routes and such. So our quarterback, Gronk especially, is going to have a little bit easier time throwing to this guy. We'll see how that goes. So we're going to do the same thing. So I got to swap out Washington with Bess. And we're going to put Washington right here. And we're going to do the same thing right here. So we're going to go Washington, put Bess in. And we're going to put Washington in the backfield. So that, again, is still at 72 overall. Incredible. So his catch should be the same, all that good stuff. So this is uh, going to be a nice little trick. A another way to get your best skill, one of your best skill position players in the backfield to maybe make some plays. So we'll see how that goes. So again, when I'm in the gun, this is the adjustment I'm going to make. We're going to pass pretty much the entire time. And then when we get under center, we're going to use that more for running the ball. Okay, now back to the depth chart. I did want to make one more adjustment. If you go to the corner position, I switch Jason Adams, our true freshman. He is now our number two guy. Depending on which def or offense we go up against, we run a lot more nickel than usual. But if we go up against bigger sets, our nickel will never see the field. And I want this freshman to see the field some. He's much taller than this kid right here. The only downside is his awareness is nowhere near as good as... Uh, Kamaka, I guess that's how you say his name. But I want him out in the field to get as much experience as possible. His overall will go up the more reps he plays. So we'll see how that goes. Plus, the reason why I had Adams as my nickel 
is because I wanted to blitz him some from nickel. The problem is I ain't running that play whatsoever. I keep forgetting about it. So I'm wasting my time putting him a nickel. So we're going to put him out at the number two spot. Just to give him more reps. So those are the big adjustments for now. Hopefully they will work. Thankfully we're going up against a much less uh, of a team today compared to what we went to the last couple of games. So let's look at Idaho's roster. Starting quarterback, Stephen Wichman, Wickman. Uh, nothing special. He can't run, so we can go after him some today. But they got an impact guy and Jason Bird, a halfback. So I'm guessing the offense will go through him quite a bit. So we're going to probably go do a lot of one high. Got a decent fullback. Receivers are just okay. Uh, tight end, but he can't run. Look at the offensive line. Not great at all. They got a decent right tackle, so I may be blitzing more from the left side this time, myself at least. Defensively, like I said, they run a 4-3, 72 and 70 on the ends. 78 and 65, a defensive tackle, just nothing great there. Look at their linebackers. They got one impact guy. He's a 78 overall. You look at their corners. They're fast, but that's it. They're short, and they're just not talented in you know, in general, just okay a free safety, just okay a strong safety, just very average in general on that side of the ball. Very bad kicker. They got a true freshman, and they got a redshirt freshman punter who's just as bad. Okay, that is it. Let's get this show on the road and hope the adjustments I made will pay off big time, short term and long term. Uh, I'm going to go over here. We'll kick it like normal. This is going to be a short kick, but... This may go out of bounds. No, he's going to take it. So may get a stop. Okay, now like I said, we're going to do a lot of one high. We'll stay in the 3-4, or they're going to doing that. Uh, we'll do quarters out of nickel. Since they're spreading us out so much. Going ace bunch. If I was them, I'd still run it. Ah, blew right by me. That's my fault. So they ran first, second and five. They're doing the same thing. Let's just, now here I am doing a blitz off the nickel, but we'll go ahead and do it. I just want to do a one high. One thing I need to start doing is maybe controlling a linebacker in these situations. That's a good stop there. So it's third and one, third and two. We're going to do three, four. We'll do crash gold. I could technically do 4-4. Four, four. I didn't think about that. This may be a mistake going 3-4 against that. Yeah. And they got the first down. And this is made what they do all day. Just hand him the ball. Uh, we can do a one high from 4-3. We can still mix in 4-3 until we're really suited for the 3-4. See, there it is. Just more running. This is what they're going to do all day. Gets a solid five yards, six yards. Now, I can control the middle linebacker. He's the one that's blitzing. I can do less damage or harm to our players. Ah, wide open. Whoo! Thank the Lord that was a bad throw. That would have got really bad really quick. So it's third and four. Uh, we'll go cloud. I, if I was them, I'd probably run it. So I may be making a mistake here. If I was them, I would just run to the left. This may be a bad idea. Oh, we got lucky there. I, I came free. So that's a good stop. We're going to take a chance to go all out block. Please don't fake it. I don't blame them if they did. They're in a good spot to do it. But this is the only punt play where I feel safe that we won't glitch it or won't goof up on it. So everybody just get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. So we're on the 10-yard line. So we can start and experiment with Washington. I thought, let's go curls. Now they're going zone nickel, so I'll probably just go to Ferguson here. And my curl route got caught up on the corner. That's why that guy was so close. I mean, what do you do? 
second and eight. Let's let's do quick slants. We're going man dime, so I'm going to try to go to Washington. Now this is a swing route, so this won't be as effective as a flare. But at least we can get some speed out there. So it's a good play there. We can also go here. I wanted to try. Where was it at? Uh, we can go halfback mid attack. Zone nickel. I got a couple options here. You never seen me run this play before. Oh, he caught it instead. <laughs> he kind of got in front of him. I should have let that guy away. He was wide open, as you could tell. Just a little stick route. But Washington got right in front of him. That's okay. We still got some yards out of it. I can do halfback screens with him as well. So I got some options. Uh, go Crow Reed. We're going man. Uh, because of this. Uh, let's just go with it. Just get the first down. Uh, we can try a run play. Man nickel. Uh, we'll go to our left. This guy is still our best runner. He can, he's, he's pretty strong, can carry it, all that good stuff. That's a good play there. Um, I wanted to go back to gun tight. Where's it at? There is a play. Wide receiver corners. Hopefully they go man here. They're going to go zone, so this may be interesting. Hopefully we can get this off. I'm just going to go to my shallow route. We'll go to Bass, get some yards there. So Gronk is throwing the ball fairly decent, so I'm okay with that. Uh, let's see, what am I missing here? We can go... We can go clear out. Zone nickel. Having my halfback not have to play a whole lot in the gun gives him plenty of rest. Wide open here. To our freshman. Pick up the first there. And we can go back to curls. So again, I just feel like I have to throw short just because our offensive line just can't handle the deep stuff yet. Bath throw there. He had to come back for it. We can try. It's second and eight. Um, one thing I probably should have done. Let's try this wide receiver triple option. They're going man. Now they're going nickel. I'm still going to stick with this. Not a big fan of that shift. Uh, <laughs> terrible pitch by Gronk. I mean, this is awful. I don't know what's going on here. I I, I don't I don't know. <laughs> you tell me what happened there. I don't know. We're very fortunate. We still got the ball. So let's keep going. Uh, we're on the we're on the thing. Uh, let's go. Let's go half back out. All right, Washington Washington's going to get the ball here. It's third and one. At 70 catch, it's still more than good enough for him to make his plays. So what we can do here, he's a little gas, but we're going to try this. We're going to go back to quick slants. They're going man nickel. Uh, we'll just go to Washington, and we're I don't think we're going to get it. He's a little gassed, so we're going to have to probably go under center for a touchdown here. Yeah, he's a little bit gassed, but he's going to stay in there. I'm trying to use his speed as best I can. We're going to get him on go routes as well whenever the opportunity ha you know, arises. We'll go to the right. Got a good block right there. All right. At least we got down the field. Is Again, it was a bunch of short stuff. That's kind of what we can do right now. I'm just... Like I said, our offensive line just can't really handle the deep stuff consistently. Hopefully I can get good offensive linemen in time to do that. And what's weird, we can talk about this. 
I bet my tackles. My tackles, I've been having more trouble out of them than anything. So, you know, I got an 89 or technically an 85 overall tackle. You'd think that would be good enough at left tackle, but he gets pushed around a ton. If you go to his run, and his pass block is technically a 91, but he just gets pushed around a lot. I don't know if it's because of his size. I, I still think a lot of it has to do, if you don't perfectly back up correctly on your drops, the, on your drop steps, then I, maybe they get pushed back a whole lot more. So if you go to your right tackle, you know, he's an 80. That's not awful. And we can look at his stats. You know, it's an 86 at pass block. And he's big. He's 6'5", 328 pants. Yeah, he, you see him get pushed around all the time. So I don't know. I'm not really sure about that, but that's something I'll figure out eventually. I think a lot of it has to do with you backing up and such. You know, if you don't do it perfectly, that's why in 07... It is excellent that you can turn off auto throw. You don't have that option here. Turn off auto throw means you can let the computer handle your backdrop perfect or your drop back perfectly. And you'll have less of those you know, instances. Alright. That's a good start. We'll kick it away from their impact guy. Get over here. Ah. That's a good block right there. Uh, we are back on defense. Let's try another cover one. Uh, this time, I'll control this guy right here. I could do less harm with him. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. I have to make the tackle, but I was in bad position. Easy first down there. Again, that's one of the issues or worries I have with the... 3-4, can you stop the run consistently with it? I don't know if you can. All right, end of the quarter. We're up 7-0. Idaho is driving. They're doing that. Uh, they're running the ball a ton. We'll stick with this. Like, I can get a, in a gap here. Maybe I can plug up something. Now they decide to pass. Oh, I had a sack. They ain't get look at me right here. I had a sack. I just screwed that one up big time. I got around the guy and I it was awful. Alright. They're very lucky on that one. Uh, they're going four wide here. We'll, we'll attempt quarters. They'll probably go back to the run game. I'm going to stay in because of it. Ooh, they're going ace empty so they're not going to run it. It's a good stop there. So it's second and ten. I'm guessing they're going to go back to... Like, I want to go 3-4. But we're going to go 4-3. I just think we can stop the run a little bit better with it. For now. Almost got the first down. Just to... Um, let's go 4-4. We can handle that. I'm going to go right here. Went to their fullback. And look at that. He's still getting like a solid seven yards. We're just getting pushed around. Not much you can do about it right now. At least I don't have an answer for it. Go back to the 4-3. No, we'll stay like here. That's fine. We'll go right here. That's a good stop right there. Second and ten. Man, if we could just get them in a third and long situation, that'd be great. I'm going to take a chance and go zone blitz. I think they're going to pass. At least I hope they will. Oh my, you got to be kidding. We're just playing awful defense. I don't know. Just Either we're young, our front four can't get a push. I don't know. I mean, even Idaho's moving on us pretty easily. So now, I mean, we're just going to have to give up the touchdown unless we get lucky here. I don't get it. We're just struggling on defense. I'm starting to worry about that more than the offense now. Look at this. I, I don't... I don't know what to do. Maybe we're just not very good. I mean, I, got, I, mean, I can go back and look. And I guess our... I mean, we weren't... 
super talented last year. I mean, we had a, like a really good free safety, but you go back and look, you know, 78, 76, 78, 72, 72. Maybe we're just, that, maybe that's the problem. We're just not very talented. Everybody's in the 70s. I guess that's our problem. Otherwise, again, when Idaho's moving the ball on you pretty easily, then you know you got problems. So they've tied it up. We'll get back on offense and see if we can get our lead back. That'll get better because, you know, we brought in a really good secondary. They're just young. We got a lot of young guys on the field right now. Like, we got two true freshmen in the secondary. One's a Juco or other safety. We got linebackers that are freshmen. Just young. Just don't fumble it. We are on the right hash. Let's go. Let's try cross. Man dime. I would actually like to run it here, but this is a great man beater. So we're going to leave it as he is. We're going to bring him over. Pick up about seven, eight yards there. He's Gronk's 10 for 10, so I can't complain too much. Now, we can, ex we can try this. We can try a halfback streak. We've struggled with it. If our right tackle could just hold on here, but add their blitz, and so it ain't gonna matter. Good little play there. Good little throw. We can go. Um, I'm just trying to think. We can try. It's quick slants again. Man nickel, so this will be interesting. At least he got some separation here. Get the first down. Thankfully, the free safety was on him. That's a good throw there. Now, one thing we can try to do, we'll do PA read. We're going zone. I didn't know how Washington would be able to handle that if it was against man, but we'll, since we're going zone, we'll just go to, mm, just good defense. Just set, he, he sat there and waited on it. We'll go half back out. But going man here, I hope we can convert this. If not, I'll, I'll debate whether to go for it or not. I got hit as soon as I threw it. My left tackle got beat big time. Um, we can try this wide receiver triple option play again. They're going zone, so what I can do, I should have used that audible. I didn't think about that. I'll have to wait till later. Ah, he got in the way. <laughs> you can actually get decent runs against zone with that play. I always give it to the halfback in that situation. What I need to do is make that adjustment. Uh, formation audibles. I need to change this to my best zone beater, which is probably like cross. I'll think about that later. Uh, let's go curls. Again, we got to keep it short for a while. We're going man dime. Uh, I'm going to do Ferguson just in case. Ah. That was halfway my fault. If I would have left him alone, he probably would have done okay there. Uh, we're in two-down territory, so I'm going to call this same play. And they're going zone. Uh, I, dang it! Got bogged down a stupid flat round. Um... I'm going to go for it. I just don't... I don't trust it. I just don't want to punt. And now he's being double teamed. I don't know if our... Hey, dang it. Oh, he caught it. We'll take it. <laughs> so Gronk is playing great now all of a sudden. Jeez, that was a high risk. I just wasn't expecting to do that. He got underneath it. I thought that guy was going to intercept it. Okay, so it's a minute and a half. 
If we can somehow survive this without them scoring, we get the ball started second half, get a touchdown there, maybe we can stretch the lead. Only downside with doing a lot of this short stuff is it just takes a while to get down the field unless you get a lot of yak, you know, stats. Or you get plays like that where they decide to bring everybody down for you to go over the top. This should be a really good kick right here. Yeah, it's really strong. You're still going to return it. Hmm. Thankfully, he's not very fast. Minute 30. It's time for them to start throwing. I would assume they're going to throw. I could be wrong. Play action. I was in bad position, but thankfully it was a bad throw. I'm going to do a zone blitz from 3-4. Normally I don't think these work all that well, but we're going to try it. We're going to do crash 2. Uh, that is fine. We'll do it from here. I'll control this blitzer. We got two blitzers coming on this side. Ooh, we got a sack. Defensive tackle got to him. Now I'm going to call a timeout. Because I, I need that time. They're going four wide. We'll go cloud. Hopefully we can stop them here. Now, if we don't stop them, then that was a waste of timeout. This tackle is a little bit worse than the other one, so I'm going to see if I can go after him with this guy. Ah. Great. Just enough of a hit. So who's number four? And that is our true freshman... Adams. Great play. That's why you get tall corners so he can make plays like this. If he was 5'10, that would have been a first down. Okay. That is a great situation to be in. So we actually may get the ball back and score a touchdown before half. Washington is back there. Let's see if we can get something going on the right. Get a block right there. Ah. He caught me. All right, so we need to go down the field a little bit now. I want to go back here. We'll go cross. They may go zone. Yeah, they're going to go zone. So we may not get a lot of yards here. What was that? We lost five yards. And the... Hmm. Well, that's upsetting. Okay. Um... Ah, that kind of messed me up there. And they're going zone right here. Um. Hmm, okay. I'm going to let that clock go. I'm not... I just... We're on the 38. That's kind of... Now I'm not so excited to try to get down there and score. I don't think we can. If whatever reason we don't get this... They're going to get the ball back here with plenty of time left. So I'm going to let this clock go a little bit. If we get the first down, then I can call a timeout and we'll have, still have some time to maybe do something. But I mm, I just don't know if we can get down the field quickly enough to score. We'll see what happens on this play. But for now, I want to run down that clock just in case. Okay, we got the first. Call a timeout. Now we can see if we can get down the field a little bit quicker. Uh, we'll go... And yeah, we'll go backfield. That's fine. Uh, one thing I did... I do not have anymore is my... Third and long. And we can go deep attack. I mean, that'll still work. We're going zone. I'm trying to think of anything I'm missing. And I hit... Mm, I pressed the wrong button. Dang it, that was my fault. I had another guy wide open. I hit the wrong guy. Dang it. That was my fault. Let's go quick slants. All right, they're going man, but they're going nickel. And I can't... I'm going to leave that as is. Go Washington. Just enough. His speed makes the difference there. We can go streak here. Going zone, maybe we can attack that safety this time. Uh, 
what a throw. Just enough. Mm. So Gronk is feeling it, thankfully. I was starting to... I mean, I, I love the idea of maybe putting Brennan in there, but I'm glad to see Gronk make some plays. Right where it needed to be. That safety is just not good enough to get over there in time. My right tackle done his job. And we got a fifth wide receiver out there that can make plays for us, too, which is pretty cool. All right. That ended up being a perfect scenario for us. So we're going to kick an extra point. Now, we got to get a stop here. Eight seconds, what I'll probably do. I may do a high kick, and they just may run the ball. I don't want an easy touchdown for them, so I don't mind doing a high kick here. That last kickoff, they had a chance to do something big there if they're returner wasn't so slow. At 8 seconds, I don't think they're going to try to do something here. I could be dead wrong. They may try to go right down the field and score, but I think they're going to just run the ball. So, we will adjust to that. And they threw the ball, surprisingly. And they called the timeout, too. If that's the case, then we'll just go too high man. They're going to do a Hail Mary situation, which, I mean, more power to them. And I still couldn't get to the guy. Oh! <laughs> That was close. Look at this. I mean, look. What are the odds? <laughs> All right. Let's go to halftime. Let's check out some stats. We're up two scores. The offense is going great. We're not running the ball a whole lot, but that's fine. I mean, we're not very good at running the ball anyways. But I think the adjustments we've made have gone well for us. Gronk is playing great. 20 of 23. Uh, we're not giving up any sacks. Of course, we're throwing a lot of short stuff. Our third down's looking good. Both teams are playing clean football right now. But I want to look at the receiving. Washington's got eight receptions. So, I mean, he's doing his part. It's just like, for whatever reason, the, a lot of the run-and-shoot plays that I call uh, also have the halfback doing things. And that's just what, you know, the deeper stuff won't be like that. Like, there's a one play you haven't even seen me. I maybe ran twice last year. That's that uh, switch concept out of gun spread. It's a great play, but it just takes forever for those rats to get open. So I really can't call that this year. I probably should have took a knee on that one. Or he may go out with it. Since he done that, I'm going to give him... Well, he's going to be on the field anyways. Uh, uh, he's still a good clean of bill of health. Let's try... This wide receiver play again. They're going zone, so we'll audible. And we'll just go to Washington. A little bit better. Got about five yards there. Now, some may think, why not just put Ferguson in the backfield? Washington's just much faster, and he can't catch as well. So, And he can at least make those simple catches, such as, you know the swings and the flares. Man nickel here. Thankfully they're running a lot of man. So we're going to bring this guy over because of that. And get him out there at least a little bit. Now it's not like I'm outrunning everybody, but having 94 speed right there makes a difference. We're on the right hash. I'm trying to think. Look, I want to see if I can get... I want them to go zone right here. That's the only thing. I'd like to get Ferguson the ball a bit more, but we're kind of struggling with that. So maybe in a couple spots, I may need to put him out in the, in the backfield. Like, and this may be a... No, they're going one high. It ain't going to make a difference. We'll go to Davidson. Good play there. Now, David, Davis, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm in the middle of the field. I can probably do my... Uh, middle of the field play that everybody loves to see me run, but I want to do the option play first. Or go in man zone. This may not work at all. I 
I hope we got some yards out of it. We're on the left hash. Let's go. It's third and three. Let's go P. Reed. Zone dime. I'm still probably going to dump this to Washington. Unless Ferguson's open over the middle. Let's get the first down there. Knocked out their coach. And he is gassed. Uh, one thing we can do. Let me do this instead. Let's go to formation subs. I don't need Washington to be doing everything for us. So we can... Uh, let's put... Let's put Davis right here. Let's That gives Washington a bit of a break. Uh, so... I may have to do something else to give him a bit of a break. Another formation or something where he doesn't have to play on every single down. We're going zone here. But I like the spread out of it, so I'm going to leave that as is. And get about nine yards there with our halfback. It's a good play there. Uh, let me think here. So Ferguson is still kind of... So, like I said, one thing I can do is we can go back. This is how you learn. Uh, see, I got him on the backfield on every one of these. I can probably give him a bit of a break, like right here. We could put our halfback right here. Uh, we could put Mock right there. And I could put Ferguson right here. And see, it goes right back to 85. So, that's, see, this is it. If you put a wide receiver at halfback, nothing really changes, which I think is amazing. I don't know how that is, but that is awesome. So I just, I've discovered something, apparently. I'm sure somebody else has noticed that or done that in the past, but uh, let's put Gian right there. So that's another formation where Washington doesn't have to be in there. So it's second and one. And we can go back and run this like wide receiver corners. They're going man-dime here, so I don't have to make any adjustments. But I'll keep it simple and dump this to... Ooh, that's an intercepted. Ooh, that's... Good defense. That's... Oh, that's why. This guy... That's the perfect defense. Having the strong safety on him. We're very fortunate that wasn't picked off. Thankfully, that strong safety is not good at all. And I may... It's third and one. Uh... We'll go back to halfback out. Man 4-3. We'll just go to Davis over here. Ah, terrible throw. Awful, awful, awful. So, uh, it's fourth and one. I'm still going to go for this. We'll go wide receiver curls. All right, they're going zone. Hopefully, we can make a decent throw here to the flat. This is going to go to best, too, unless Ferguson gets open over the middle. First down. Whew, just enough. Scary, scary. <laughs> okay, uh, let's run the ball. We're going zone nickel. I feel like I'm running the air raid offense right now, to be honest, but that's okay. Ooh. He's running the ball. Say he's a good downhill runner. He's just not very fast. Second and inches, uh, we'll go here. We'll go cross. I'm trying to think of some deep shot plays, but we're going zone here, so. Uh, ooh, let's go. Let's go with a run play. I like the numbers in the box. Just get the first. Everybody's a little bit gassed. We'll go back to wide receiver option play. They're going man this time. We may get some decent yards here. I may have him do on a cross. Maybe he can pick somebody. Touchdown. Great play. They were getting our best players involved. Getting them a bit in the best positions possible to succeed. And getting my fastest player out there in one-on-one -on -one situations. Never hurts. Okay. But I'm not going to lie. I mean, this is a bit of a godsend. This is kind of rap I mean, racking my brain right now when I'm starting to see this right here. When I'm seeing 
my wide receivers, when they're moved to halfback, nothing really changes for their overall. Now, one thing I probably... I need to go back and look. I could be dead wrong, but it says 86. But next time we get on offense, we'll go back and look and see what his little status is. You know, where it has the green and white dot and all that good stuff. It may go back, but I don't think it will. But that's crazy that their overall doesn't change. As long as you do it in formation subs. So hopefully that changed your life. Just making that little discovery right there. You can start using that as you wish. Now I'm starting thinking of other positions you could do that with. I mean, I, I wide receivers and tight ends can get moved around, that type of thing. I don't know. I don't know. I think a lot of possibilities are right there. This is going to go to their impact guy. I kicked this wrong. Thankfully, he kicked it to the moon. Take a knee on that one. We will... Uh, they're going too wide. Let's do a one high. At a 3-4. Nope. Uh, we'll go... We'll do this instead. I'll control a blitzer. I think I have a better chance of doing good damage as a blitzer as opposed to being a safety and a one high look. So I'm going to keep trying that. Now they're going... We're going to do a zone blitz here. Hopefully they will throw. No, come back. They went with a halfback raid play. I don't know, but that left tackle decided to go after the defensive tackle. Left me wide open. Just got lucky on that one. So it is third and eight. We'll go cloud. I'll go after this cat. I'll go after him with A. Francis. He's got great protection. Tall corners. Like I said, this is why you want tall corners or guys who can jump really high like that. A good combination is a high vertical and really tall. So we're about to rip this game wide open. So this is good news. We're making good changes. I'm glad you got to make adjustments. You got to do what it takes to win, you know, while still keeping it, you know, somewhat realistic. But we're going to get the ball back, and I'm going to try not to forget to look at the status for our players. We're going to take a fair catch on this one. We're going to go. We're going to go back. Uh, What's-his-face is ready to go. Interesting. So, why isn't... Have you noticed that? That's so interesting. Ferguson's not out there. And it's because of the halfback sub. Hmm, that's so interesting. Okay. By the way, uh, we can look at this. Nope, it is. it, it does go back to... Did you notice that? I'll go back and I'll show you. So you got to remember, you go back here, formation subs. So something is wrong. It's I'm guessing the formation sub thing is wrong. So you go back here. So you see Ferguson, it says he's 84 overall. But when we go back to this right here, we'll just pick another. We'll go back to wide receiver corners. You notice here, it's all red. So he's back to 52 or whatever he's at. So I guess what it says on the formation subs is incorrect. Ooh, that's intercepted. That was terrible, my fault. My fault, big time. I wasn't paying attention. So now, Washington is back. Now that our halfback is healthy. When our halfback, or backup halfback goes in, then it changes. That's so interesting. And we'll go over here and keep it safe. Bad throw. Just a, by far his worst throw of the day. So it is third and 11. We'll go deep attack. They're at least going to go one high. So I'll probably go to one of the go routes. That right nickel's blitzing. Because of that, they're going to go there. I threw that way too hard. I tried to get away from that safety and it didn't work. So it is, what, fourth and 11 on the 48? We'll just punt it. So it helps to have your halfback healthy in that situ in those situations. Otherwise, that wide receiver you moved over is not going to be there. Again, that's how you learn things. 
Now he's got all... Okay, thankfully he's going to let that one go. Well, that was disappointing. I was really hoping to stretch the lead there. Uh, we'll go back to a one high at a 4-3. I'm thinking they're going to run it. Uh, I'll be a rover. <laughs> How about that? It's a good stop there. Second and 10. Second and 11. We're going to do another zone blitz. Ah. Good open field tackle. Adams is having a great day. Third and seven, and this may be the last play of the quarter. I don't know if they'll get it off in time. One. He's got all day to throw. Wide open, too. Ah, great throw. He just had all day. But nobody could get to him. That's still a bit of an issue, our front four, front three, whatever you want to call them. It's not where it needs to be. We'll do a one high to three, four. I'll control over here. Play action. I didn't know who he was going to go to. I was trying to double team somebody. Second and 10. We'll go back to a zone blitz. I may have to control the blitzer. Yeah. That's the only way we can get sacks this year. Our front four just isn't good enough to do it by themselves. We'll try Cloud again. It got beat last time. Maybe I can get to the quarterback. We'll try with this guy right here. He can barely hear that and their best player. Intercept that. That's good enough. Okay. So, they're going to go for it. That's expected. Get a stop here. I'd love to get the ball back and maybe we can score them one more time. That's eh, four and a half minutes. We still got tons of time to do something. Ah, good play by the quarterback. And he's wide open again. Jeez. What's the deal? That's just a weak spot in the coverage. He went with the wheel route. That's all that is. That's a weak spot. And cover three, that deep spot right here, it's hard to attack, though. That's something I need to work on. Well, they're hanging in there. I don't think they can win, but... Kudos for them trying. Ah, dang it, dang it. I just got awful position. Uh, we'll do all out blitz here. They're fixing the score, anyways. And I still couldn't get to him. Fumble it. That's a stop at least. Uh, they're doing... I don't know what they're going to do. I, they still may run the ball. Dang it. Oh, right. Surprised by that one. I figured that was going to be an easy touchdown. Um... We're going to do a cover two max out of three, four. They're running out of room. If he can throw at one of those windows, then more power to him. I don't think he can. And I just got pushed back. Great defense, Al. Defensive end goes back out in coverage. I knew I couldn't get the sacks. I just went out in coverage. Thankfully, he threw it in my direction. So they're going to go for it. Uh... Let's do a fire two. This is a little more risky. We're bringing more guys. If 
thank the Lord that was a bad throw. Okay, good play. Uh, we are on the six yard line. Let's let's run the ball. Man, nickel. I'm hoping that impact guy goes over there and he doesn't. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Yep, yep, yep. So on the five, um, we'll go curls. I'm trying to think of just a way to get out of the out of our end zone really quick. We're going man. I can bring him over. Ooh, that. Good little play here with Ferguson or Washington. Get some speed out there. So, like, we can stay in this formation. And again, remember what his rating looked like on formation subs. It's still all time bad, so you can't go by that, which is probably a good thing. Uh, so they're going zone here. They're going, and somebody just came through. Right tackle just got all kinds of confused. I just our offensive line's terrible. Left hash, uh, second and ten. Let's go streak. They're going man. Uh, we may leave it as is. I love for them to go cover zero. We're gonna do that. Thankfully, his impact status got the extra two yards. So now it is third and three. We'll go halfback out. We'll flip it this time. We're going zone. I'd like to score one more time. Good to see Washington get his yards there. Uh, let's do this run play here. We're going man. So I'm going to leave it as he is, and Ferguson may get a run play going off here. Not the best pitch in the world, but at least he can get out there. Get him going. Good to see that. And he's hurt. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, man. Please let that be a minor injury. Last thing we need is him getting hurt. Ah, I swear. We'll go P.E. Reed. Okay, they're going P.E. Okay, they're going man. Dime. So, let's see if Washington can handle this. Ah, oh, good play. And he's a little gassed. You can kind of tell. That juke was kind of slow. Now, one thing. I wish it would show his agility. If you go back. See, it. Like, you go to formation subs. I can't rely on it. But if you go, like, right here, oh, his agility doesn't show right there. Because if you go to depth chart, this may be the only way to show it. See, this is his actual, it's 52. If you look at his agility, it should stay the same. Okay, maybe he's just gassed. I didn't know if the agility would go down or whatnot. So they're on the four-yard line. Uh, let's just run the ball. I just want to score one more time. Stretch the lead. Ooh, we'll probably have to go right again. Just get in there. Okay. Cross your fingers. We still haven't heard anything on Ferguson. Just an unlucky play. Hopefully it's nothing major. Minute 34, they'll try to do something. They gain a at least one score back. Good to see the offense do its thing. I mean, 35 points, I wanted to score more. But I think the adjustments were more than good enough. At least we're not turning the ball over a ton. That type of thing. We're moving the ball. It may be in small increments, but... So that's the downside. My, my opinion, the biggest downside of the run to shoot, you need a great offensive line. You don't need as good as offensive line like in the air raid or kind of what we're doing here. Probably a 15 yarder. Nope, just a five. So maybe they're going to zone. They're going to go three or four wide. So we'll go quarters at a nickel.
just a bad enough throw, it appears. They're doing that, so we're going to do quarters out of 3 4. We'll do an over front. Don't know if that's going to help much. Ah, dang it. Almost swatted it down. Third and 11. Guess we'll go back to Cloud. Gronk ended up being the MVP. Good for him. He had a good day. Get him. Uh-oh. He's going to get the first. Defensive tackle came back to get the tackle, of all things. And they called the timeout. They're going to punt it. <laughs> That's weird. That makes a whole lot of sense. All right, double cross. We got 59 seconds left. I'll probably just take a knee. We don't need anybody else getting in trouble. And the fact that we haven't heard from Ferguson may be a good thing. Maybe he's already back and going. We're about to find out here. I got Davis right here for some reason. I don't know where. Oh, he may get a touchdown. I'm going to let him have it. Run some clock. Run some clock. Run some clock. Run some clock. Well, I didn't mean for that to happen, but <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> so now the game just gets longer. So what we can do... We can go to in-game strategy and do formations, uh, mass subs across the board. I tried to run a little bit of clock there as best I could. That's an interesting shift. You never see him do that. Alright. Now they got their backups in. We can kick like normal. This is about a perfect kick as you could ask for. This may go in the end zone. It does, but he's going to bring it out. So may get a stop there. And he's hurt. Uh, do, we don't have the bodies for... Uh, do we? Ooh, I don't know. If, we're about to find out. I don't know if we got the bodies for a backup 3-4... Hey, it's not terrible. I mean, I mean, they're all in the red, but they're not, like, bad. I'll control this guy. Ah, just couldn't get around him. That's an easy run. Now they're going five wide. We don't have the body. Well, we may have it for nickel. Do we got the corners for it? Ferguson's only after two cores. Woo, good. Ooh, I don't even know who the... The corner on the right side there. Somebody got to him. Second and 10, 16 seconds to go. We'll go quarters. Four three. Good stop, Al. Wow, he just ran me over. <laughs> it made that look easy. Should we'll stay in quarters, three, four, no matter. It's gonna be the last play of the game, anyways. Two, one. They're not even gonna get it off. All right, good deal. Game over. That is a good bounce back win after what we went through the first two games. Of course, it's against a much worse opponent. I get that, but I'm happy with the adjustments that we made. Especially on offense. I like a little ghost handshake there. What was that Manti Teo? Okay. Uh, let's check out the stats and scores. Offensively, we've done our part. We ran. We actually had over 100 yards rushing out. A lot of that had to do with a couple of those wide right receiver runs, but I'm more than happy with what we see there. Gronk had his best game of the season by far. Went 31-38. and 38. It does help that I'm doing a bunch of short stuff. But now I have more incentive to do short stuff because we could put a, ha a wide receiver in the backfield and help us out a little bit there. Passing yards, we had exactly 300. We didn't have any sacks. Both teams played clean football. We can go to individual stats. Again, Gronk just had a great day. Two touchdowns, no picks. Rushing. Uh, our leading rusher was our halfback, so good for him to see, get 55 yards. Got a couple touchdowns. 
Uh, Ferguson got 35 yards. Washington got 23 yards. So it's good to see a bit of a mix in the run game. Receiving. Washington. Again, it's just our halfback position. Just gets a lot of catches in what we're doing with all this short stuff. But we got to until our offensive line gets better. Otherwise, we're going to get keep getting killed. So Ferguson, uh, he got seven receptions for only 23 yards, which is really odd. I guess a lot of the times he caught the ball was all short stuff. That That's the only explanation I can think of. So we may make some adjustments there. We'll see what, what happens. But he got his touches. He just didn't get a lot of yards out of it. Rackley ended up getting a touchdown on that deep bomb. Bess, the guy who doesn't play any, was able to you know, come in for Washington in that uh, number four spot. It was able to get a touchdown as well, which is cool to see. So we had a lot of guys get different uh, touches and through the air. Pretty cool. Uh, blocking. We actually, our left tackle actually had four pancakes. Uh, defensively, uh, Ikeka I, I A. Francis was our best defender today. Well, stats-wise, he had five tackles and a sack, which is great. But I thought our best guy was Adams. It seemed like he just made big plays out there. He only had one tackle, but he had two pass deflections, which is big. Especially on that third down from earlier. All right, let's get out of here. I don't know who we play next. I think it's Boise State. That'll be a tough one. Hopefully we can keep it close. They're just much better than we are. You look here, they're 0-1, but they probably played somebody really good. Uh, they got more talent than we do. That is obvious. So we'll just see what happens here. We was able to pull off the upset last year. Hopefully we can do that again this go-round. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.